Hello everyone, this is a demo on Abbey Find Reader 15 by Sean Joyce, that is I. Today we're going to be talking about an overview of Abbey Find Reader, which is an optical character recognition tool that is used to convert documents and extract text. Some common uses are to convert PDFs to Word documents, tag multi-language documents quickly, set the reading order, edit underlying text, bulk convert PDF textbooks into text, uh, and optical character re recognition for image-based documents. Now the first thing uh, that you'll want to do when using Abby um, is to make sure you're in the right program itself. Uh, so for this presentation, we're going to be working in the OCR editor. Um, basically, we're going to launch Abby and then open in the OCR editor. And then we're going to select the files that we want to work with. Can you feel the pain? Abby has a few very distinct panes that can be viewed at different times. This includes the thumbnail pane, the image pane, the text pane, and the zoom pane. This is a screenshot of the general layout of Abby. Um, number one in my screenshot is the thumbnail pane. This is on the far left hand side of the screen. Number two is the image pane located in the center of the screen. Number three is the text pane located on the far right side of the screen. And number four is the zoom pane, which is located on the bottom of the screen. The thumbnail pane, uh, this area provides a thumbnail view of all the pages that you are currently editing. You can jump to different pages by clicking on them or using the arrow keys to navigate through. The image pane. This area provides the visual representation of the file. This is where zoning occurs. You cannot edit the look of the file. The text pane. This area provides the textual representation of the file. This is where you can edit underlying text if there are mistakes or poor OCR. The zoom pane. This area provides the ability to zoom in on specific sections to compare the image pane and make changes if needed in the text pane. Zoning. Abby is able to automatically zone content areas on the page or the zones can be manually set. Common zones that can be set are as follows. The text zone, picture zone, table zone, or background picture zone. <clears throat> In the screenshot on this slide, uh, we have the zoning options on the top toolbar. Now there's no panel for where this is located uh, specifically, it's just on the very top toolbar. I have an example of an image that has been zoned uh, and is recognized as an image within Abbey. I have a table zone that has been uh, zoned as a, as a table. And then I have a text zone as well. Uh, so, to change a zone, you are going to simply select the type of zone from the options located on the toolbar. Then, you're going to drag a box around the content in the image pane, and that will make your zone. <clears throat> now, when you first open a document, it's going to automatically go through the OCR or optical character recognition process. The results may vary in this step and you might need to change the recognition mode. Now the recognition mode is also located on the top part of the toolbar, um, indicated by my screenshot here with the number one. I have a drop down menu, PDF recognition mode, and we're gonna change it from using only text from PDF to OCR. Now in this screenshot, my image uh, indicated by number two is what the file actually looks like. And then on the text pane uh, indicated by image number three, we can see what text was actually brought in to the document. And they are a bunch of uh, up carrots, which isn't gonna be very useful for us. So we need to change that to OCR to get a better recognition. 
Now, once you actually do the recognition, you need to review the underlying text. Sometimes the underlying text will have misspelled words and will need to be updated. Simply click into the text pane and begin editing. Any changes made to the underlying text will not affect the visual layout of the document. In my screenshot, I have a couple of examples of where text was merged together. Uh, the words appropriate for seems to be one word. So I would need to click into that text pane and add a space. And additionally, there's another instance of that, of there is a single word. We need to make sure we click in there and add a space. Next up, we're gonna talk about setting the reading order. The reading order tool will ensure that zones get exported in the correct order. And it's got a tiny little button with arrows that indicate uh, the reading order. You simply select each one of the zones and that will set the reading. After selecting the tool, each zone must be clicked on in the correct order. The number is pretty hard to see and is in the top left corner of each zone. Uh, I have a couple screenshots that I tried to grab the, the reading order number there, uh, but it's kind of hard to see. Now, there is a couple more things you need to do before preparing your document to be exported. Um, you know you'll you know you are ready to export the document when you have completed the following steps. The document has been zoned, the reading order has been set, the underlying text is correct, and you have set up your document properties. <coughs> now, there are specific options that must be set before exporting the file. We're gonna take a look at some of these. Um, basically, we're gonna go to tools, options, and then format settings. Now I have some recommended settings here for Microsoft Word export, um, and these settings might change based on the output. So if I'm exporting out to a docx file, under my format settings, I want to make sure to adjust these settings. Basically, I wanna keep everything. I wanna keep my headers and footers. I wanna keep my pictures, and I wanna keep the text. Now, when I actually export to Word, uh, Abby's a little funny. We're gonna change the save format and choose Save As Microsoft Word Document. Now, to do that, I need to select the Save button and then change it to Save As Microsoft Word. This is automatically gonna force Abby to try and save out the file. Um, we're gonna close that window as soon as it opens. Now, we have five different options to choose from when exporting as a Microsoft Word document. Each has a unique purpose, and times the PDF needs to be converted to a Word document for further editing and proofing. The output you select will be dependent on multiple factors, including the person's needs and any assistive technology being utilized. Abby Fine Reader offers multiple outputs for saving scanned files into Microsoft Word documents, and these outputs include the following. Exact copy produces a document whose formatting corresponds to that of the original. This is recommended for documents with complex formatting, such as promotional booklets. Please note, however, that this option limits your ability to change the text and format of the output document. Editable copy produces a document whose formatting may differ slightly from that of the original. Documents produced in this mode are easy to edit. The formatted text retains the fonts, font sizes, and paragraphs, but does not retain the exact spacing or location of the objects on the page. The text produced will be left aligned. Text in right to left scripts will be right aligned. Vertical text will be changed to horizontal in this mode. Plain text does not retain any text formatting. Flexible layout produces an HTML document with the positions of the objects as close to the original as technically possible. Additionally, you can bulk convert files using Abby Fine Reader. Multiple files can be converted simultaneously to help streamline workflow and meet production demands. At the start of the semester, it's common to convert up to 10 books at a time. Using this process to convert multiple chapters at once will help save time when editing. When using Abby Fine Reader to process files with the same name, select a specific option in the Save window. And that's here. Um, when you save out your files, you need to change the drop-down menu to create a separate file for each source file. 
This will make it to where all the individual files uh, will properly export as individual documents. Now we're going to take a look at Abby Finder. Okay, now we are going to do the Abby demo. Let's open up Abby Find Reader, and then I'm going to select Open in OCR Editor. I put a couple of files on my desktop. Let's open them up. I'm opening two files at once. This is... two separate files. Um, I mainly... All right, so we have our thumbnail pane on the left. We have our image pane in the center, our text pane on the right, and our zoom panel down at the bottom. Um, I'm not gonna quite use the zoom panel for this demo, but what we're gonna do is take a look at some of the zones that came through. Uh, so on page one, Abby automatically zones the page. That's what this green box is. It put text on it, and then I have in the text panel all of the words. Now if I change my recognition mode to use only text for PDF, and we select recognize, we're just gonna take a look at these terrible characters. This is a similar um, issue that I had shared in the presentation. So we get all these characters, and if this had come through, uh, you might change the recognition mode. So I'm going to change it back to use OCR and then I'm going to select recognize again and it's going to OCR all of the pages once more. And I'm also specifically looking for English. If you had additional uh, languages, you can select from this menu and select recognize and it would automatically uh, find those different languages. Now let's, this, this came through pretty good. Um, there's not a whole lot of issues with this. Uh, let's check out page two. The, the reason I'm saying there's no issues is because it, this is just a plain, easy, text-based document. I have a footer down here at the bottom that I could delete out if I wanted to. Uh, you don't have to do that. And then I'm actually going to delete these zones out by clicking on them and selecting the delete key. Now what I'm going to do is rezone this page. So with my text option selected, I can begin drawing boxes around the content. Now I could select all of the content in one go, but I'm going to individually zone each one of these. I'm going to take my picture zone, draw a box around this picture, grab my text zone, and draw a box around the words. You can adjust your uh, zones here pretty easily. And then let's grab our picture icon again, excuse me, picture zone. And I'm just dragging some boxes around my, my text here. Easy peasy. Now because these are going to be decorative images, I actually don't have to zone these images, but I'm going to just for demonstration. And let's grab all of this text at the bottom. and I'm not gonna grab the page number. So now that I've zoned all of this, uh, we need to verify in our text panel that the content is coming through, and it's not. So I'm gonna select recognize. And what this is doing is it's finding low confidence characters. Uh, this blue in the text panel, it's saying, hey, we don't think this is right, but it is right. I can tell that it is. Um, but that's what the blue is. Now the red thinks that it is a misspelling and it looks like it combined some of my words. So in here, this is my underlying text. I'm going to add those spaces because I want my document as clean as possible when it comes to it. Now the images are here perfectly. Uh, the reading order looks pretty good. If I wanted to update the reading order, I would press this reorder areas option and I would simply click each one of the zones in the order that I want it read. And that would be it. So this page looks good. Let's move on to page three. Uh, page three has a table. This is why I included it. 
Now, the table ed editor in here is pretty fantastic. Um, I'm gonna delete all of my zones in here just so we can kind of start from scratch. So the first thing I'm gonna do is select my table zoning option and I'm gonna draw a box around this table. Now what's cool about Abbey Fine Reader is it has the ability to analyze the table structure. So I'm gonna select that button and it automatically adds rows and columns to my table. Now if I wanted to add or delete some of these, I simply select the zone and then I have the options underneath the zone. I can delete separators, add columns, or anything I want. Then I'm gonna use my text zoning tool. I'm gonna to grab the text underneath it. And just so we know we're on the right, uh, on the right path, I'm gonna select recognize page. And everything looks pretty fantastic. Next up, we have another label followed by an additional table. And we have some more text. That's actually a footnote, but we're not gonna worry about that for this second. And then I have another label and then another table. And I'm, I'm going way off to the left here. My zones aren't pretty, but Abby's a little touchy with these zones, so you have to kind of get used to them a little bit. And I'm not gonna grab the footer. I am, however, going to recognize the table structure on that table and on this table. And then we're just going to recognize the whole page just to make sure I got everything. And then I am scrolling a little bit to make sure everything looks correct. And it does. Now let's take a look at exporting this out to Microsoft Word. Uh, I'm first going to change my save option to save as Microsoft Word document. We'll go ahead and do create a separate file for each source file, because I have two files here. And we will select, I'm actually gonna click cancel on this, uh, because I wanna change the style in which I'm exporting. Um, I'm gonna do, let's do editable copy. Select save, throw it on the desktop, and let's take a peek at how this came through. So we're gonna look at, this is our one sample here, <coughs> our OCR sample first. Um, we've got our heading one, that's nice. We've got our text, we've got our list items. This is looking pretty good. Our images came through, oh, just realized something. This exported out as text boxes. Text boxes are not good for accessibility, so I don't want this file. Don't save. I'm gonna go back to Abby. Let's try another export. Uh, let's do formatted text. Select save. Throwing it on the desktop again. Let's take a look at this instead. I'm going to make sure this looks good. All right, we have any text boxes. Not quite. Our image is a, a little different here, um, but not too bad. And our links work also, by the way. All the links in the document come through. Let's try one more of the exports. Let's go back to Abby. And let's try, let's try exactly I don't know if we tried that yet. I don't remember. Oops. Alright, try that again. Exact copy. Save. So you can just keep exporting out as much as you want. So many pop-ups. Alright, this one still has text boxes. If you don't care about the text boxes, that's fine, but um, I think the best file I had was the, the formatted text. The formatted text is gonna be my best bet for editing. All right, let's take a look at this other file that we did. This one had the tables in it. 
Ah, so our tables came through. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. I'm gonna apply a style to them. See them a little bit better. There's a little bit of funkiness in here, but it appears everything came through, which is pretty nice. We have our list items came through. more tables came through. So that is a brief introduction on using Abbey Fine Reader and exporting a PDF to a Microsoft Word document. Thank you for watching.